Welcome to Paraphrase, a web-based translation management system for enterprises. Paraphrase helps translation professionals to quickly produce translations in 57 different languages and record audio in 18 different commercial languages using dynamic machine learning. This technology allows you to train the machine translation engine within our platform to learn your words and phrases over time. With Paraphrase, you can save more than 50% of your time on producing translations and recording audio in various languages. In fact, companies can save thousands of dollars by producing voiceovers with Paraphrase. Here are some samples of synthetic audio recordings created using Paraphrase. Conversión de texto a sonido en archivos MP3 y WAV en 18 idiomas. Paraphrase aide les équipes mondiales a travailler plus intelligemment, plus rapidement et plus sûrement. Because these voices are synthetic, they are most appropriate for purposes such as e-learning videos, employee training, automated phone attendant, and your help center. Here's how to get an audio file of a spoken translation. First, you'll need to have your script file in hand in the source language. Working with existing audio and no script is available, you will need to have the audio transcribed or use an automated transcription tool that will transcribe the audio for you into text. Please note that transcription tools aren't perfect and you'll need to make some edits to the script after using them. Please also remember that you need to check the terms and conditions of any transcription tool you use to make sure they protect your data to your company's standards. Next, enter your script into an Excel file. Whether or not you're starting from scratch, this is the logical next step. To do this, cut and paste, or type, each line of text in its own cell in column A. This creates a separate audio file for each cell, which is helpful when you need extra flexibility with pausing and placement when it comes to inserting your audio clips into your final media project. If you want a longer pause after a sentence, for instance, if you're about to move on to talking about a new concept, that sentence should be placed in its own cell. Start with cell A1 and work downward, staying within that column. And you'll want to make sure that you strip out any comments or instructions from the file. The file should only contain the text that needs to be translated into audio output. Likewise, if you need bigger pauses between spoken lines of text, such as when you list bullet points, you would use a hard return right before the beginning of the text in each of those cells. Once you have your Excel file ready, it's time to upload it to Paraphrase. When you're logged in, it's as easy as choosing your source language and target language, uploading the Excel file, clicking Translate, and then inviting a bilingual professional or colleague to edit the first draft translation within Paraphrase, or you can edit it yourself. They'll see that Paraphrase has organized the text into easy-to-digest segments. The color of each segment row indicates whether or not the machine-translated segments need to be reviewed. The legend on the left-hand side of the interface will give you more detail about the quality of the translation. It's easiest to remember that anything that's not green needs to be reviewed. The good thing is that with professional translation software with dynamic machine learning and translation memory, you can train it to remember higher quality words and phrases as you edit. This means that any repetitions across your file or batch of files will be replaced with that higher quality translation. And in the future, it will automatically be populated since it's stored in your translation memory. Keep in mind that this is a necessary step for achieving high quality translations. Paraphrase is a productivity tool, not a replacement for human translation. Step number five is going to involve a computer speaking out your script text. So for step number four, you need to make the script computer friendly. This involves changing the spelling of certain words to get the proper pronunciation. Otherwise, words can be mispronounced. Here are some guidelines. You must keep in mind that the need to change the spelling of certain words is going to vary depending on the target language. The types of words that this rule applies to includes proper names, acronyms and abbreviations, and numbers. Let's start with proper names. Proper names such as paraphrase are words that commonly need phonetic spelling. For example, a brand name might have the correct pronunciation in Chinese. However, that brand might have the wrong pronunciation in Spanish. To fix this, you would experiment with an alternative spelling of the name. Another thing to keep in mind is that paraphrase will often try to pronounce acronyms as target language words, not acronyms, but this doesn't apply to every target language. Additionally, English words such as e-learning, internet, and email are often spoken in English despite the target language. However, this isn't always the case. It really depends on the target language. It's also important to pay attention to numbers. Using English as an example target language, 475 will be read as 475, and 3800 will be read as 3800. So if numbers in your script need to be read as individual numbers, add spaces between each number. 
Once you've made the changes necessary for proper pronunciation, it's time to download the audio file. In the Paraphrase Translation Editor, click the Actions button and select Download Audio. Choose either MP3 or WAV as the output format and select the gender of the voice. Then click the Export button to receive the download. Next, you should listen to it to make sure nothing is mispronounced. If something sounds off, you should make further edits and download the file again. One of the most valuable benefits of using Paraphrase to produce synthetic voiceovers is that you can make corrections so quickly and easily at no additional cost. And don't forget, the more frequently you use Paraphrase to edit translations, the more time and money your organization will save in the long run. And that means the more translations you perform over time, the less words and phrases you need to edit. This means that the more people who use Paraphrase at your organization, the faster your translation memory grows. So don't stop at audio files. Use Paraphrase for any of 24 types of documents to save yourself time and money on translations. Now that you know how to use Paraphrase to record audio files in other languages, it's time to get started. Visit www.paraphrase.com slash view plans to get started, or email us at info at paraphrase.com if you have any questions.